Now I'm going to compare two products for uh, doing texture effects on the water. The first one is uh, Mod Podge. Uh, it's about $7 for 16 ounces here. And the other one, of course, is the uh, Liquitex uh, Gloss Gel uh, Medium. It's about $15 for this one. And I want you to see side by side how these two react differently. I'm going to go ahead and, and open up the Mod Podge here. And we're going to go ahead and put some on. Now, in working with Mod Podge, it's a little bit more liquid than the, uh, uh, than the Liquitex uh, gel. I'm going to go ahead and scoop a little bit out, and there's kind of a different uh, smell to it, too. Uh, this Mod Podge reminds me a lot of Aline's Tacky Glue. Uh, it's not really much of a gel. It's more of kind of a really thick glue. So it does gel some, but it's a little bit different. So you can kind of see... How this works around. I'm going to dip a little bit more out here and then I'm going to put the uh, 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 Liquitex uh, gel right next to it. Okay, so that's enough of that. Let's take the Liquitex gel and we're going to put it next to it here. I'm going to wipe the brush out and we'll dip that in and we're going to dip that in and do you see how this this appears differently? This Liquitex gel is actually much more of a gel. And I don't know if you can see the air bubbles, but there's also a lot less air bubbles in this. And this is actually quite a bit thicker. So spreading it out is, is kind of interesting. What I've got, you know, by mistake is kind of a too thick of a, or actually too coarse of a brush for this. I should have used a softer brush for this. But it didn't really matter how stiff the brush was on the Mod Podge because it's still kind of flowing down. So if you can see the difference in, in texture between the Liquitex, which is up here, and the Mod Podge, which is down here. Now as far as texturing goes, I'm going to take a softer brush. And I don't know if the video will show it, but there's quite a few air bubbles in here. What you can do is you can just kind of take this and move it around. And you'll see this is, you know, quite a bit more liquid. Quite a bit more liquid than the... Uh, um, uh, Liquitex gel. But you can move it around and you can kind of go over it and uh, that's kind of how the Mod Podge works. And I'm still seeing quite a few little air bubbles. I, I don't know, maybe I could pop those if I brush across it here. No, I brush across it and I still got those air bubbles in it. And I don't know how much you're really going to see those air bubbles. But that's kind of the texture you'd probably put on using the Mod, Mod Podge. And you're not going to see brush strokes near as much. And I don't think there's just going to be near as much texture on that. But as we go to the Liquitex gel, here's what the Liquitex gel does when you start working with it. And it holds its shape more. Uh, there are very few uh, air bubbles in it. And you've got more control over it, although I don't know how much control you really want, but, but that's what the uh, uh, Liquitex Medium Gel does. Personal preference, I like the gel better, but it is, you know, twice as expensive, so that may factor into what you choose to use. Okay, well, it's been a day since I compared the uh, Mod Podge to the uh, Acrylic Gloss Medium. And I'm going to try to get around, and I don't know if you can see, I'll move the light around so you can sort of see the texture that's on the, uh, on the surface there. Then let's see if I can try to get in close. The one above is the uh, acrylic gloss medium, and the one below is the Mod Podge. There's not really a big difference between the two. The Mod Podge, or the uh, uh, acrylic gloss medium isn't completely cured, so you'll see some areas that still look just a little bit milky. And I think that'll go away in another day. Both of these, if you notice, have just, I'm really, really close here. Keep in mind, this is only four inches wide. So uh, if you look, uh, the, the Mod Podge uh, has a bit of air bubbles in it, just a little bit. But it almost reminds you of like foam on the top of the water. And the uh, a Gloss Medium seems to have some air bubbles, but not quite as much. Here's a, another test where I did the uh, Acrylic Gloss Medium not quite so thick. I thinned it out a little bit more. And it seems the air bubbles are a little bit more of a minimum on there. So for some reason when I did this one, maybe it was the type of brush I was using. Uh, maybe it was just because uh, I didn't put it on quite as thick as I didn't get near as much uh, of those air bubbles on top of that. And that's just kind of a random pattern that I did. One other thing I wanted to show you was one other test that I did. 
between the two. The bottom is the Mod Podge, and the top is the acrylic gloss medium that I put on really thick. Now this is from four days ago, and you'll notice that right here and here, these two strips are really thick and high. Uh, those two strips right there have not cured yet after four days, and I don't know if they ever will. I mean, it's really hard and glossy on top, but they have a white strip underneath of it. So I think that I put on a little too thick. You can go too thickly with this, and it'll have trouble curing. But I did want you to notice that you can see that fish under the water. You can see that he's actually submerged down under there. So it actually gives a good, uh, good effect with the uh, Envirotex light and then uh, this sort of texturing on top of it. Let's see if I can get a better, a better angle. Like right there you can kind of see that it's actually submerged under the water and looks, uh, it looks pretty deep. One other thing I want to mention is I also did a test with the really uh, thick, let's see if I can get that over here. This is the, uh, this was the uh, super heavy gel I did with the Liquitex. And the super heavy gel is really thick and uh, what it came out to be, its textured surface uh, almost was too textured. You know, you can see every single brush stroke. You can see every hair of the brush on there because it was so thick. It didn't run at all. And it worked out pretty good, but I kind of like the uh, just the medium better. Uh, the medium gel seemed to do a, a better job as far as giving me the texture that I wanted here.